Hello everybody, this is Andrew Mercer. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to be learning how to check and add a brake fluid to your Honda CB750. I'm going to be using a CB750F 1975, but this technique applies to many of the CB750s and actually many of the motorcycles out there. So hopefully you can learn how to do this yourself. Okay, let's go to it. Now brake fluid is a nasty substance. It's been known to take the paint right off of tanks and motorcycles and do all kinds of weird things to other surfaces. So anyway, we don't want to get any of it on your bike. So the best thing to do is to uh, protect your bike by covering it up with something. I'm going to haul, I'm going to haul some plastic over this tank. So now that we've got the tank So now that we've got the bike all covered up with plastic around all the painted parts and protected, we're going to now remove the cover of the, uh, the reservoir for the brake fluid. You want to do this carefully even though you've got everything covered up. And I should also mention that I've got lots of paper towels handy in case of emergency. Okay, sometimes this rubber, sometimes this rubber piece here uh, gets caught and stuck on to the reservoir. You might have to pry that off a little bit. Just be gentle because you don't want to be replacing that. Now if you notice inside here, uh, you'll notice that there's uh, the, the brake fluid is kind of um, a bit brownish. Uh, that's not, we don't like that. It's better if it's more clear. This needs to be replaced by rights. I'm not going to replace this today, but I am going to uh, clean out the bowl in here because it looks to me that there's some sediment down inside as well. So I'm just going to clean the bowl out, I'm going to add some more to it, and at a later date I'm going to um, flush out the brake system. Now in order to clean out the bowl here, what we're going to do is we're going to sop out the brake fluid with, with these uh, paper towels. Very, very, very carefully. Because we don't want to disturb any sediment that's down there, we don't want to get it into the little uh, holes or any of the little bits and pieces that are down there. So I'm just going to sop it out really gently, take our time. And again, we don't want to get this on any painted parts. Now that we've got the brake fluid all sopped out of the, um, of the reservoir, I'm going to give it a little wipe with a clean paper towel and gently try to stay away from the little ports that are down there so you don't want to go feeding any brake fluid into those ports and little holes that are down there. They are tiny. Now I'm going to use actual brake cleaner um, to, um, to give this a good shot just to make sure it's cleaned out good. And again, protect it around with a rag so you don't spray the brake fluid all over the place. It's a good idea as well to clean around the edge of the bowl, the tread that the, uh, the cover screwed onto. Just make sure that's all nice and clean as well. I should also mention that you do not want to touch your brake pedal, your brake handle here, while you're doing this because you'll end up in putting ear into your brake system. Now that I've got the bowl completely clean and all tidied up and I've got the lid clean and I've got the grooves around the edges all tidied up and clean, I'm going to add some brake fluid. Now when you use brake fluid, you have to use the brake fluid that's indicated on the bike. This one has it indicated on the cover of the brake reservoir. It says dot three. So that's what I put into this one dot three brake fluid. If it says dot four, use dot four. If it says dot five, use dot five. Now there's a little ridge on the inside of this bowl that goes all the way around. I'm going to bring my brake fluid up to that ridge level. And I did actually spill some, so now I better get that waked up. The brake reservoir is now topped up with brake fluid, so now I'm going to reinstall the cap. And be careful, have some paper towel ready in case you get any leaks as the cap, as the rubber 
uh, may force some of the, the brake fluid out. So be ready for that. And don't put it on cross treaded. 